Greetings, 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 and welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays. This is Lisa. It's so good to be here with you, isn't it? Ah, spring is coming and everything is blooming. So welcome to this time of being with me. Today we're going to be talking about something that has come up over and over. And I thought, why not? Let us uh, talk about it since uh, I have been dealing with it myself and some family members and also uh, clients of mine. Plus, I just got an interview, which I'm going to be talking about it. So for those of you who are just coming in and uh, joining us, uh, thank you so much for being here. My name is Lisa Bubari, and uh, for someone who's gone transformation of my own for over 22 years ago to be where I am, going from healing from overcoming pain and anxiety, walking on eggshells, and healing my ovarian cyst through hypnotherapy. And that's what led me to where I am today. Um, I remember the time that I was working at the law firm over 25 years ago, and my body was full of stress and anxiety and uh, breaking down, literally breaking down. My uh, hands, I had carpal tunnel, I was in pain my knees uh, having water and uh, yeah shoulders walking like this just talking about uh, stress and I'm going who's stress because I was functioning right hi Sita John thank you for joining us it's so good to have you here allow me to okay so that's what led me to uh, to a point that when my body started breaking down and I was referred to a um, acupuncturist because my doctor said I'm going to have a surgery for the third time I had to go under uh, under the knife for ovarian cysts that was already developing and growing all due to stress it was the acupuncturist that referred me gave me a sheet of paper saying that hypnosis can help with my ovarian cyst now yes in five to six sessions I healed myself I no longer needed to have that surgery and I'm giving you this background because I was going through so much pain anxiety I know exactly what anxiety is walking on eggshells all the time so talk about stress which I was under a lot of emotional pain, mental anguish, and not realizing that my body was creating so much. And the manifestation of the physical pain was because of suppression of so much emotional pain. So that's why I talked about this. And I don't know if you resonate with this or not. But so many of my clients who come here going through anxiety, feeling overwhelmed, undervalued, is due to so much of suppression and suppressing of what they feel, what they think, and not being able to express it. What is emotional pain? So allow me to start with that. Emotional pain, the symptoms can be, uh, well, the pain as we know it, it's usually a physical pain. So um, if my tooth starts hurting, that means I call the dentist, and when I go in, I may have a cavity, and if it's worse, I may need a root canal, right? 
So when there is a pain, if it is a subtle pain or it is a pain that physically you break something or it is your heart or something that it's pure physical, you go to the doctor and the doctor checks you and finds the, the reasons. And if it is something that it is to be taken care of, it is taken care of now. The emotional pain that I am speaking about is the ones that you go to the doctor or maybe you have experienced this or know of someone that it just travels every week. A part of the body is hurting and you can't pinpoint and the doctors do everything to find what it is and they may turn around and say this can be psychosomatic. Why? because it's it is something that it is emotional pain as we know it it can be like a physical pain there's different pains there's physical pain um the emotional suffering psychological pain the soul pain which is the mental pain the mental anguish that we go through due to deep sorrow sadness we can be grieving and not realizing that there is a whole lot of psychological pain that goes with grief. You are in pain and you just don't know how to express it. Intense pain, distress is another one. As a matter of fact, isolation and loneliness in itself is painful. So when we go into a panic, that's another one. Rage can also create pain, maybe not for you, but for someone else. That in itself is painful. When children are in a household that there is always fighting and bickering and everything, it creates such a painful thing. It's a psychological pain, shame in itself and feeling worthy so in some cases feeling of that emotional pain it leads to a physical symptom and the body will create just about anything like when a child does not does not feel good wants to uh, stay home and does not want to go to school suddenly they get a tummy ache right uh, an excuse but the tummy ache may be very valid and if they have some kind of a fear added if there is any kind of a fear or discomfort if something is happening in school if they are being bullied or they have a test they have not studied for that in itself becomes a physical manifestation and the stomach which is the core will start hurting they might even because of the fear factor from inside uh, it will raise their temp temperature to a level they might even get a temporary um, uh, the temperature goes up and you think that they have a fever so all that is a physical manifestation of what there is something happening inside which is the emotional pain or a fear factor because you see in our mind our mind um, fear is one of the biggest and worst culprit that can create this ease so is the pain is the result of it and in order for uh, for us to heal to feel calmer we we what we do through hypnosis and hypnotherapy is calm the client to a point they feel more calm more relaxed so that we can tap into the pain factor or understand what is the fear now the fear is the core the pain is the symptom 
and what we do is uh, open one doorway at a time peel away one layer at a time and do this entire thing instead of cognitive therapy through a deeper state of relaxation so they can bypass the analyzing judging critical factor and understand allow me to give you an example a client brought her daughter to our office this beautiful girl just blossoming coming into her womanhood and not ready for this at a young age 11 years old which is young 11 12 is young and for so many of us coming to our womanhood is a whole different thing emotions plus being a uh, early teenager plus if there is anything happening inside the house that it is not welcoming and you know I call this coming to your womanhood the same way as there is a celebration for a boy to come into his manhood it is supposed to be a celebration when it is not celebrated and there is this fear factor the physical reaction to that is pain and the pain is oh my god I have extreme pain in my stomach I have pain here pain there and feeling depressed feeling as if isolated not wanting to talk to anyone and add a little bit of a grief for a loss of a grandparent a few months ago all that accumulates and if this one person or you or someone you know they don't know how to express it and release it the physical pain becomes the dominant thing that needs to be taken care of so go from one doctor to another from another to another and they can't find anything now wouldn't it be easier if we start asking what is pain to you how do you feel where in your body does it hurt and how does that hurt look like feel like if you were to show it to me if you can place your hand and if we can relax the pain you see pain speaks to us pain knocks on our body to let us know something is off something is wrong pay attention to me so as I did the work the hypnosis calming her down to a point that she began to express it became this I am in pain and it's the emotional pain we had to heal it is the isolation and the grief and the grieving that we had to heal for her to know that this is a celebration and what if she were to talk to that pain of hers what would she say and if she were to embrace the body and say wow this is a whole new level I am entering a whole new pathway I am going to be walking and how may I honor this beautiful castle and this is how I explained and shared for this beautiful young blossoming person to begin to understand and where what it used to be a pain and anguish and sadness and loneliness became an acceptance and embracing of who she is embracing this beautiful body right we all go through this 
We may have pain and fear factor. We may have a pain even not sleeping for a long time can create pain, can create migraine, can create other parts of our body that pains us. You know, my ovarian cyst, it was paining me. I was in excruciating pain. But through hypnotherapy, I realized why my body was manifesting this. Why this is. We know that cancer in itself, it comes from, it is a scientific thing that has been proven that this ease and stress and just a lot of discomfort, discomfort can create and stimulate the body to create the disease which is cancerous and so many other things now now i'm not saying that hypnosis has the answers to everything or therapy even cognitive therapy is the answer to everything but it is an augmentation to what we believe is wrong in our body and if we could merge them together how wonderful it would be. Allow me to also say that I had the honor of being interviewed by Dr. Cyrus Yazdi, um, a prominent doctor, graduated from Harvard University, um, practicing in uh, Chicago as an anesthesiologist that throughout the years he has been working on this connection of what else can he learn and bring to his patients to merge this beautiful mind-body connection and through our interview talking about pain management because this is managing our pain, not controlling. It's if we can just realize that truly in life we cannot control anything, but we can manage. And if we can manage pain the same way as I work with my clients, just like this beautiful spirit, that as she walked out, she hugged me and felt so much lighter and more accepting of herself with so many other clients that are in pain for something else if they can manage the pain factor from a level of eight because it can never be 10 if the pain and the fear factor is ever a 10 that means they are in er right but if it is manageable enough to be here in my office that means they can manage it and control it in a way to be here to do the therapy so if it is an eight and you think oh my god i cannot do anything about this pain it's not going anywhere no one can find it and you're just doing pill after pill and it's still not working and the dose goes higher and higher and numbs you more and more and then higher and higher and numbing more and more not expressing what's truly inside think of doing another modality through hypnotherapy we tap into even talking to pain itself finding the fear so bringing it from eight all the way down to a six even lower down to five four three and if we can bring the pain and just bring that volume the intensity from eight all the way down to five and maybe to a three and to a four or a three would that be okay when my client says yes that's exactly what we do we tap into the subconscious and the emotional connection to that pain we bypass the emotional connection to pain itself and bring the volume down I hope this makes sense you see I've talked about this many many times I do self hypnosis and I have had six root canals on my molars and even my front teeth 
even this one that has a three nerves and done the entire not only the oral surgery but the root canal with no anesthesia and you know how it's done by self-hypnosis bypassing pain that means I bring the volume of what it could be all the way down to a two and one and numb that area to a point that I know the drill is there I hear the drill I can feel the air I can feel the water pick I know everything is but I have this entire focus of I am calm I am in charge I am relaxed I am safe and my tooth and as long as I hear the drill I hear the water pick I hear the air everything is great all my gums are numb numbing 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 so in a way we have a conversation with that area with the pain that pain thank you very much for letting me know there is a problem now I can bypass the emotional connection that I feel it it's not there and the volume is so low that the work can be done the same thing goes we do this pre-surgery post-surgery and allow me to say this this reminded me of some hi Susie John how are you it reminded me of something else I had a client a year ago or maybe more it was before COVID time that she needed to go for her uh, securities exam and it was her fourth time that she would ace all the pretests and by the time she got to go to take her securities exam a day before she would literally become like sick as a dog why why do we say that sick as a dog dogs don't get sick like that a anyhow um she would get so sick and ill ill that she could not go and take the exam the manifestation of that physically to break her down for her not to take her securities exam when all she wanted to do is that is understanding why does the body create this and then a day later there was absolutely no symptom so that's called an emotional pain or a, a mental pain or a fear factor that it's there that pains the person to a level that physically the manifestation is I'm going to put you down break you down bef before you go and take that test because there is something subconsciously holding her back so what is it that we do we figure out through hypnosis relaxing calming and getting to that peaceful place and doing techniques called either NLP or timeline therapy that I'm also certified in to understand that self-limiting block that self-limiting belief because so much of that happens from the age of 3 to 12 and I can say this who's burst your bubble and when we do the work believe it or not it does go all the way to our beginning in the same way as my new client she's not depressed she's a teenager a new teen to be 12 years old and coming to womanhood instead of celebrating and loving and appreciating this beautiful castle of hers and although she knew what's coming and the day it happened it was a fear factor 
and the isolation of what's happening. If we shift that and make it a beauty, make all that by evoking it and understanding what it is, just like my client that could not pass the securities exam once she realized the culprit was nothing but a young girl that someone in life had burst her bubbles of saying you will not amount to anything you're not going to be good enough in mathematics and her mathematics and her test taking because younger than that when she was much younger at age six in a class she did not perform well and the teacher was so belittling that she peed in her pants and I'm saying this is for you to understand there is so many different factors and that shame of that little girl now this may be real it may not be because in our mind our mind is so profound that it remembers the subconscious mind remembers so many things in detail in detail that consciously we can't remember so as we are doing the work this girl goes all the way down to that time now it may be real it may not be real but what she felt what happened to her body the shame factor it gave her pain because other kids that saw her laughed now today she's a prominent person wanting to pass that securities exam and there is this self-doubt of that little girl and she's accomplished so much to be here but when it comes to test taking because of test taking that one little girl then it's amazing when and why our mind does things to us and it's not to us it's for us so i want you to think for yourself and just sit back and say this what are the things that I wanted to accomplish and I have succeeded and what are the things that I wanted to do that I held myself back who's burst my bubble what was I afraid of what held me back so it is the emotional and mental pain that we heal and sometimes we just need help to peel away to tap within our subconscious mind because there is only so much and meditation can help self-hypnosis can help writing journaling definitely is one way of you releasing expressing and those are the techniques i want you to utilize on your own even having this time of sitting by yourself and cocooning truly cocooning and knowing that as you are cocooning just go into that realm you see in our mind there's two factors our imagination and our memory our memory takes us all the way back right and imagination is what we imagine happening in the future and we're constantly I want to go back to that time I want to go back to my childhood I want to go back to feeling this way I want to go back to when I was uh, thinner I want to go back to when I was healthier and I didn't have this pain or I want to be like this yes 
that first and foremost, be where you are, be present, acknowledge everything today, right here, right now, the reality of it. By embracing the reality is when you can go into the future. Mind, memory, imagination. We constantly are imagining what can happen in, either in positive or negative, you see? And most times it is both. I'm imagining I'm going to be doing this and then that's what we say. Step into it. Be it. Evolve in it. But you must be here first. We can't skip this part. If we are not one with the pain, if we are not embracing this very moment, you cannot step into the future. And we can't constantly be in our memory bank. This is where you live. Every step that you take. I am. I can. I will. I feel. And express, I feel what, I am what, I have what, be in the moment. And as you are journaling, journal it as if you are in the present. Goals are something we want. Memory is something that has already happened. We can never go back to thinner. We can never go back to what was because we can't live there but what we can do is have the past as a reference live today in the moment and move forward to what you desire the same way as my pain when i get a pain i call my dentist and i say i have a pain we take the x-rays, find the culprit, the cavity. I go sit there. It's not how many times I've done this. Now I know how to numb it. I know it. And I do this. And I don't think about what's going to happen afterwards. Being present. Being in the moment. So if you have an emotional pain something is paining you there is an anguish there is something that you are feeling overwhelmed with that you have not expressed i'm here for you all you have to do is call me email me by all means i'm offering a 20 minute complimentary consultation do so healwithin.com appointment let's explore possibilities allow me to hold your hand bring the volume of that pain in their emotional pain physical pain it doesn't matter if i don't have the solutions i will find the solutions i will work with your doctors it is an augmentation by all means you can go to my youtube i will even put the link over here for you to see my interview with this doctor with another doctor who's a psychologist we are here to break down barriers self-limiting beliefs because i truly no, the answers are within you. So let us tap, tap within and peel away things that have become blocks for you so that you can emerge, blossom and walk the true path. You know, everyone says your authentic self your authentic self is you. Even with your pain is still authentic. I like to say the masks that we wear, what we 
hold ourselves with, guard ourselves with, and protect ourselves with. Sometimes we have to come out of that box and say yes to yourself. So, have a pain, have a fear, let's cope with it, deal with it, and be present. You deserve the best. You do matter. And all those who did not believe in you, wink. But before you wink for them, stand in front of the mirror and wink for yourself. Put that smile on your face and when you look in the mirror, realize. Realize that your whole self is right here. And there is nothing wrong with you. There is nothing wrong with who you are. And if there's things that we need to do, by all means, step up, show up, stand up, stand up and say yes to you. My name is Lisa Bubari. I am here for you. And for today, I must say thank you. If you enjoyed to this, this session, by all means, I thank you. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. We are going live. So much is happening. We're starting our podcast soon within the next month. So much more is coming. And I am here just a text away and a call away. God bless you and may the universal light surround you. Bye-bye. Oh, yes. Last thing. If you have any questions, Please put it over here. Thanks, Lisa. You are the best, beautiful. You are truly an inspiration. You are welcome, Susie John. It is my pleasure to be here, to be present. Seda John, love you. And for all of you who have been supporting me, giving me wings to be here every week, I thank you. I thank you. And if you even text 818 221 um, 2797 and um, put the word relax I will definitely send you a uh, an audio recording of mine that helps you relax and unwind again 818-221-2797 and the word is relax until next week I bid you goodbye bye bye Thank you for being here. If you want to check out some of the testimonials that I've got, click right here. But if you want to go back and watch other videos from a week ago, two weeks ago, even a year ago, click right here. See you next time.